When I teach GIS to the intro students, the first week I'll always ask them, hey, give me an environmental problem where the geography, meaning the spatial location and what's around it does not matter. Because in most of all the environmental problems we deal with, knowing the spatial location and geography and the interactions around it are critical. And so GIS really kind of forms a basis for a technology, a toolkit that we can develop for the students in terms of looking at an environmental problem. I am pursuing the GIS certificate in addition to my water science and policy degree. Um, I am using geospatial analysis, uh, specifically remote sensing, to identify nitrogen hotspots in uh, the Brandywine Christina watershed, uh, specifically looking at the mushroom production. I'm learning how to use a very important tool, ArcGIS, um, and also in Tracy de Liberty's class, I am using uh, remote sensing. Students go out of here with maybe just one class and they can get an internship. They can get their first job as a stepping stone. When they do the certificate program, they even have more capabilities to step into a little bit higher level and be the one that's it's, um, really kind of running the GIS, um, a little bit more advanced job.